Assalamu alaikum. My name is Mohammad Parvez. My question is activation of life in light of Quran. Alhamdulillah, Parvez has asked the question activation of life in the light of glorious Quran. Very good question. Allah declares in the glorious Quran, chapter number 21, so help me out, verse number 30. وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيْءٍ We created every living thing from what? Father Allah says in the glorious Quran, chapter 36, Quran Yaa says, verse number 33, 34, 35. وَآيَتُلْ هُبُ الْأَرْضُ الْمَيْتَ أَحْيَيْنَاهَا وَأَخْرَجْنَا مِنَا حَبَّمْ فَمِنْهُ يَحْبُدُونَ وَجَعَلْنَا فِيهَا جَنَّاتٍ مِنْ نَكِيلٍ وَآنَابٍ وَفَجَّرْنَا فِيهَا مِنَ الْقُيُونَ لِيَقْبُلُوا مِنْ فَمْلِهِ وَمَا أَمِنُوا تُوبِي عَيْدِهِمْ أَفْلَا يَشْكُرُونَ وَآيَتُ اللَّهُمُ الْأَرْضُ الْمَيْتَةِ أَحْيَيْنَا هَوَا خَرْجَا مِنَا أَبْبَمْ فَمِنْهُ يَعْبُدُونَ وَجَعَلْنَا فِيهَا جَنَّاتٍ مِنْ نَخِيلٍ وَآنَابٍ وَفَجَّرْنَا فِيهَا مِنَ الْقُيُونِ لِيَأْكُلُوا مِنْ ثَمَرِهِ وَمَا عَمِلَتْهُ بِأَيْدِهِمْ أَفَلَا يَشْكُرُونَ Allah declares in the glorious Quran, Surah Yaseen, chapter number 36, verse number 33, 34, 35. And for you the sign is dead earth. We give life to it, we bring forth the grains which you eat, we have placed there the gardens of date palm and grapes, and we gush forth the springs, so that you eat their fruits. Not your hands have made it, why not you give little gratitude to it? Allah says in the glorious Quran, chapter 43, Surah Sukhru, verse number 11, He is the one who sends water from the sky into measure and gives life to the dead land and similarly you will be brought forth. This verse is pointing towards the fact how life gets activated. We know very well today Water is life. Without water, there is no life. Cell sap contains 70 to 75 percent of water. Jellyfish contains 95 percent of water. So, normal cells they contain 70 to 75 percent of water, and jellyfish contains 95 percent of water. You see, when it rains. Water provides hydrogen bond to the basis ATGC, adenine thiamine, guanine, cytosine. In the double helix of DNA, as discovered by Watson and Crick, both of them got the Nobel Prize. Moment it rains, water provides hydrogen. Hydrogen bridges are formed between the base pairs and life gets activated. The best example is bacteria. Today scientists know very well that soil contains 80% of bacteria. A dehydrated organism is like a frozen skeleton. There is DNA with its genetic code but it cannot reproduce or life cannot be activated in it. Moment water reaches it provides hydrogen, moment hydrogen reaches to the side, makes the hydrogen break, life gets activated. Similarly, if we look at human beings, before that, if Allah can give life to the dead land by providing hydrogen bond through rainwater, Similarly, the creator of the universe, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, can activate the genetic code of human beings which is there in the soil. On an average, around 10 billion people might have visited this planet Earth since Adam peace be upon him. The size of single genetic code is 1 micron near about. 
if the genetic code of all the human beings since Adam, Peace, Pepa, Nima are collected all together, they cannot fill even a cup of tea. So that's the reason why creator of the universe has a mighty power. He can create human beings, he can recreate human beings once again by providing hydrogen bridges to the genetic code of human beings. It is easy and simple for the creator of the universe. Allah says in the glorious Quran, chapter 36, Surah Yasin, verse number 82, Innama amruhu ida arada shayin ayakul lahukum fayakul When Allah wants to do something, He says to it, be and it comes into being. It means it becomes. Allah says in the glorious Quran, chapter number 54, Surah Kamar, verse number 50, his command is a unique one. It is carried out swiftly within the twinkling of an eye. In short, Allah can recreate the human beings from the genetic code. That is why the Quran says, similarly you will be brought forth, we all will be given life, we will be gathering in the field of mansion where the judgment will be done and depending on the judgment people will be in the heaven that is paradise as well as in the hell Allah Allah knows the best